is it ever too late for a person to um, get into a solid age management program, eating right, supplementation, exercise, watching, watching what we eat, uh, trying to avoid exposure to these environmental chemicals? to our food, water, and air. Is it ever too late in life? I, I think the answer is pretty much that old saying, today's the first day of the rest of your life. Um, there, there are a number of instances of individuals who are in their 70s who have somehow had an awakening. Um, many times it begins with the fact that someone says, you know, here's some rubber bands and you need to stretch these as you sit in your chair uh, and gets them mobile and then someone says, you know, one of the major problems you have is the lack of protein in your system. Because what happens is the cells in our bodies are constantly dying. And most, a lot of them aren't being replaced. And not being replaced, then they become, to say, they're rotting in a, in a way. And they're putting into our own system for our own cells these problems. Where people that aren't supplying the protein that they need uh, in, a, in a calculated form, now, you sell protein powder, right? And I would suppose that for every product that you market through your company, you look into the background of the product, the efficacy of what it promises. If someone was aware of that, the need, and every day at breakfast took a sizable um, three or four ounces or whatever it is of protein, whatever is recommended, they would know that they had that start on it and so consequently people who are older don't tend to eat the things that we think that they eat and they tend to eat more casually. Um, but a good quality whey protein is not Absolutely right. a good quality whey, whey protein, mm -hmm. a multiple. But they need, do you have multiples for seniors? Yes. Okay, now how do you decide on what to put in a multiple for seniors? Well, we, uh, we go to the scientific research and we uh, try to formulate products that are segmented to a particular age, age bracket and um, that gets back to something else I wanted to ask you. You mentioned earlier that you had uh, started taking supplements uh, about um, 35 years ago. How do you compare your health today at the age of 71 after taking supplements for 35 years as opposed to when you first started taking supplements in uh, 1971 or 72? Do you feel uh, that you're healthier now at the age of 71 than you were at the age of 35 or 36? You know, I think that we today um, have to look at the, the whole um, concept of biological age, and biological age is an amalgam of things. Um, I don't think that there's any question that um, an imperative to having a biological age that is, um, which is a functional age. Um, that is biological age is, is, a, is, is a functional is age. And I would say that my biological age, as opposed to my chronological age, is probably a, maybe a, as much as a 20-year difference. I see. Um, so you're, you're, you're 71 years old chronologically, but biologically you're probably 51 to 50, 51, 52, 53. Um, and you know, there's no reason that um, we shouldn't be able to live a life span where we're, we have a lot of control over that. Now, we don't have a lot of control over infectious disease. But we do have a lot of control over the uh, propensity towards cancer, definitely diabetes, um, obesity, and then of course the number one killer in our society is aging. I mean, when we get to that age physically and emotionally and mentally where we're not able to act and interact in a normal way, uh, it certainly speeds up considerably um, the end of life situation that takes, you know, every one of us. So we, to a great extent, can control the aging process. There's no doubt about it. I don't think there's any question about it. Um, and again, I think it, believe, it begins preconception. But you know, a lot of it as well has to do with the fact that as that child matures, well, today, do you know today they are, there are, you know, maybe 20% of the children that are under three years old have been given some sort of psychotropic, you know, drug of, you know, that, that is Psychiatric more... Psychiatric drug? Well, I mean, a drug of some sort that, yes, for, for their, the, the way they're acting out or, you know. Um, the other thing is that uh, it is perfectly normal, unfortunately, that some child under six months may have been given two prescription drugs for some problem they have homeopathic approaches um, would be far more uh, effective as far as 
looking at what that could do on a long-term basis as opposed to something that had been tested on grown men and had been never been tested for interaction uh, with each other. Uh, attitude. Uh, they found in something that I think it's vitamin, well there's, there's, um, there's a company that puts vitamins into um, schools in areas where the kids aren't getting anywhere near as much you know, vitamin support as they should or nutritional support as they should. I wish I could remember the name of it because people need to look it up. But um, they found that these children had a much better attendance rate. They had a much better um, rate of being able to understand, you know, what's going on. They got along better with their siblings and better with the people within their schools. And they had a higher level of IQ after a period of time, which a lot of it has to do with being able to, you know, what you're able to, to learn by doing nothing other than supplementing them with vitamins and minerals. Um, diet's extremely important, but you really can't count in the processed food world that we're living in today to get the vitamins that you need from your food. So you need to have that basic age management program. And, and it has to do as well with a child's attitude and uh, their ability and interest in the things that go on around them as much. Well, this is the first of a series of interviews with you, Lyle, dealing with uh, age management and health issues facing all Americans today. And I urge our viewers to uh, stay tuned, and uh, you'll be seeing a lot more of Lyle Hurd in the future. Again, he's the editor and publisher of Total Health Magazine, a great publication. And uh, I urge you to go to our Swanson Health Products website, www.swanson.com vitamins.com for a special subscription offer to Total Health. Thank you, Lyle. Thank we'll see you. you soon.